Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Today we're playing some Dragalia Lost, and this is the new mobile game by Nintendo and Psy Games, and it's been an absolute blast. I've been playing it for about three days or so now. Uh, this account, not so. I've been re-rolling, so we've, we, this is a new account that I've just sort of been playing for a day, but um, it's an absolute awesome game, and I was going to do a beginner tips and tricks or like a first impressions, but I thought there's a lot of that out there already, so I thought I'd go into something a bit more specific for my first video, and that is um, combat and control, my top 10 tips for combat and control. We'll get straight into it with number one. Um, most people have figured this one out by now, um, and that is you don't have to move your finger far to get fast movement. Um, it's not like in some games where you have to move your finger further to get faster. It just ends up actually hurting you because it doesn't remember the point you start at very well. So if I start in the middle here and go right out to the side and then I turn around, it, it locks a new point. So just put your finger in the middle, um, get around and it, it starts becoming pretty good. Another thing with this is I actually started playing on two accounts. Um, one on, I was re-rolling. So one of them was on my... Um, my Samsung, which had a really bad screen protector. And if you have a bad screen protector, it can actually make it really awkward with controls. Like it, it can start sketching everywhere. So that's something else to consider with that. Um, the next tip I had was use the dodge to avoid the final, um, the final blow of your attack. So if you just keep tapping, um, you'll see my chick here, she'll do a backflip. And that can actually get really annoying sometimes. Um, it also gets really annoying when air service stops, but there we go. Um, so she can do this backflip and like it can put her into harm's way sometimes. It puts her into red zones and all that sort of thing. Um, so if you don't need to do that, what I often do is just tap a few times and then dodge. And then it gets gets away from doing that backflip um, if there's something behind you that you want to avoid or anything like that. Um, and also with the dodge, you can dodge to break chests. Um, that's a pretty simple one and most people know that. Um, another really cool one that I've been enjoying enjoying doing as especially when you go through new zones that you haven't played before you can put it on auto and auto's smart and dumb it knows exactly where it wants to go it wants to go straight to the boss so if you want to get um, all the chests in a map you just leave it on auto look at where your auto runs to and then obviously that tee off point is going to be where the chests or whatever else is so you can actually explore the full map without going towards the boss and then going oh, I've got to go back and go back to find the other chests so that's just another one. Um, another big one is the charge skill. So often in, in uh, multiplayer, uh, units get shields up and not many people use their charge skill. So you do have to unlock this uh, charge skill. Um, you unlock it very early, but just make sure whichever character you're using, you do unlock it. Um, but the charge skill is really nice for breaking the shields on enemies that have shields. And something else I'd suggest, if you are a ranged character, um, if you, you're an archer or if you have the wand or something like that, um, really try and be on top of that in, um, in, group, in group games, in co-op, because it's a lot easier for a ranged class to charge up an ability and hit the boss than a melee, because the melee is normally next to the boss and they'll often get hit and knocked back. So especially if you're ranged, um, try and keep on top of that. Um, another one that... Uh, I found interesting, It's it happens sometimes, happen, doesn't happen other times. So you've got your other teammates and you can click the portrait of them on the top on the top left or you can click on your own character's portrait to cycle through. Um, and what I often find is my guys that have damage dealing um, special abilities normally use them fairly well on auto. Um, but my healer, I don't know whether it's a, a limit that they wait till before they do heal but sometimes he doesn't use it. So I often um, just, I have my healer as the second unit in my team so that I can just go, if I'm battling with this with this chick, I can just keep attacking and then I can tap to my healer, see if his heal's there and use it just because I think it, he waits for lower health. So I like just to, to keep topped off because um, he's always going to be building that heal up. So I'd rather have it keeping me topped than sitting there doing nothing and waiting till I'm really in trouble to use it because he'll build it back up again anyway. Um, the next one I wanted to talk about um, is the AI. So another one on the AI is figure out which one of your units is basically the dumbest AI in battle. So for me, it is this, um, oh, I can't remember her name, but anyway, it's the one that, it's the Nat, nat 5 that everyone has. Um, she's got the daggers. 
And I find that y your squishy um, melee character is the one you normally want to play. Um, even if you have like Hawk or something, like I really wanted Hawk when I started because I, I really like the idea of the archer and all that. But um, the, the ranged classes and the tanks are pretty good. Tanks can just take hits, so it doesn't matter what they're doing if they're being stupid AI. Um, but the the archers that, and, and the wand users, they're at range. So normally they're all right if you just make sure you get to them and kill anything that's on top of them. But it's normally these the, the, the more frail melee characters that you want to be controlling just because they'll just be standing in the boss's face and not dodging anything. Whereas your ranged classes are just by being at range more likely to dodge the effect. So it just helps more in your own team progression when you're playing solo play. Um, the next one I had is uh, if you see, see a rare monster, um, sometimes you'll be just running through here and a rare monster will pop up. And normally a lot of people just keep all their cooldowns, all their abilities um, just saved for when, um, when they get to the boss basically. But if you see a rare unit, don't be afraid to pop your dragon, pop everything, because the rare units have, um, they have better drops and they have a timer. So you've got to kill them in a certain amount of time. So don't be afraid to, to pop some cooldowns to get that done, um, because you do get the better rewards for it. Um, I know I missed out on a fair few early on um, from that, so that's just another one. Um, moving on, the in co-op, you don't have to, this is on the same sort of idea, you don't have to wait to the very end. So like once you get start getting into the harder um, harder dun dungeons or team uh, the harder co-op missions, the the enemies like a lot of people always just wait till the last wave. If you're doing one of those ones where it's like clear ten waves or whatever it is, um, a lot of people wait to the last wave, pop it their dragon, and then get it done. Um, or in the other ones, everyone waits till the break stage. It's, you just you can spread them out because everyone using it at the same time isn't always the best option because your dragons often do have some sort of control whether it's blinds or anything like that and it does actually help your team especially when you get to the harder levels early on it's not as important just because um, you basically face roll things really early but once you get into that harder content it does start getting more important to space out the dragon usage as well um, in that co-op play um, and the final one I wanted to talk about is in another one in co-op, and that is kill the ads. Um, so often, especially, this is more on boss stages, um, but you'll find that a, a lot of the time in co-op, um, people just tunnel the boss and that's it. And then he'll, often in boss stages, hopefully this one does it, um, there'll be ads that spawn. Maybe this, this isn't one of those levels. It might have to be the harder dungeons, but yeah, there'll be ads that spawn. Um, so there might be, here you go, these little guys here. So they've spawned and a lot of people will often just um, ignore them and keep attacking the boss. And once again, air server's going down. But um, yeah, a lot of people will just ignore them and keep attacking the boss. But sometimes they're really annoying effects. They have knockdowns, they have stuns. So well, while it's good to tunnel the boss in those early stages when it's really easy, that's fine. But when you start getting close to failing, just make sure you target those ads and you're wiping them out um, just to make your run safer, make it easier on everyone. So um, that's my 10 tips on um, basically on combat and control in the game. Um, let me know if you want me to do like a sort of beginner's tips and tricks. Um, th this account, I, I've actually, I played another account to level, I think about 30 um, whilst I was also re-rolling through on my other device. And I finally got this account um, which actually finally got a Nat 5 character and a Nat 5 dragon. I know I'm doing the bad thing here and putting a different element dragon on a different element uh, character, but it's fun for now, all right? <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is still my first day of play on this account, and I'm at 5,200 might, so um, I've figured out a fair few, few mistakes I made on that first account. So if you want me to do like a, a tips to early progression, I'm happy to do that. There is a few of those videos out there, but let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think of the game in general, if you're playing it, if you're liking it, and all that sort of stuff. But um, thanks for coming to another video, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.